Hey guys, so welcome to today's sunscreen video. Today I've got, I don't know what, nine, ten different sunscreens that I got recently to test out and my thoughts on them, including the new Claire sunscreen and a few other new uh, versions of products. So um, anyway, so let me just start. It's highly anticipated. It's the new Claire's sunscreen. Uh, this product, obviously from Claire's, everyone loved it, but it really ended up being SPF like 19. So this is their redo, their do-over. They took about a year to do it, which is fine. I'd rather spend more time on it. Purito, I, what happened with that? They, Purito was going to release three new sunscreens. They only released one that I saw, which I hated. But anyway, whatever. They were the other ones in this big scandal too. So um, anyway, so I've been testing this one two days now. I just got it. But I do like it. It's got multiple filters in there, much more filters than their original version. Uh, no fragrance in here. It has aloe as well, uh, purslane, a good antioxidant, um, strawberry fruit, anything else like super exciting. That's about it. So some nice other ingredients. No fragrance in it. It's really light. I'm wearing it today underneath uh, my foundation and quite nice. Enjoying it. Do I fully trust it? Would they mess up? I almost... I almost, would they F up again? <laughs> Could they F up again and get away with it? I mean, they have to know everyone's watching them release the sunscreen and wondering if it's going to be the real deal or not, right? They wouldn't screw up twice in a row, would they? I don't know. But anyway, here it is. So, liking it. There we go. So, very transparent. No alcohol in it. No fragrance. Really nice. No complaints. Feels pretty similar to their other version, which was SPF 19. So just a touch thicker, but sets to a natural natural finish. Not shiny, not sticky. So far, plays well with other products. The two times I've tested it. Um, anyway, so there we go. I'm liking it, but I'm still apprehensive. Am I going to pick this on the sunniest, hottest day of the year? No, I'm not. But uh, later on this week, I'm going to talk about the hardest working sunscreen. So anyway. There we go with this one. Uh, let's see. We've got Vertio, Round Lab, Marion May. Okay, let's go to the Wish Trend one. Talked about this a little bit. Uh, they, they came out with a new sunscreen so far. I have to say I, I'm really trusting this one. It's uh, a little bit thicker than other sunscreens, which makes me just feel like it's more trustworthy. Uh, plays pretty well with other products. It's a bit thick on the texture, but... Uh, once you smooth it in, it sets to a really nice finish and uh, non-sticky, plays well with other products. So there it is. There's the Claire's. There's the Wish Trend. No fragrance in the Wish Trend um, one either. Uh, no fragrance in here. Also has a chamomile, lecithin, which is great, some phytosterols, licorice root, good antioxidant, skull root, uh, and green tea extract. So does have a little bit of denatured alcohol at the very bottom, but otherwise enjoying it. So good amount of filters. I'd say out of all these so far, this is one of the ones I trust more. Okay, next up, let's see. Okay, Vertio came out with the new version of their uh, sunscreen. Uh, this was their older version. This is the newer version. And so far, I've used the newer version a couple times and really enjoy it. No fragrance in it. Seems to do a pretty good job protecting skin. Uh, nice texture to it. It's got a little bit of a liquidy texture. There we go. Hang on. Do, do, do. Okay. Yeah, nice texture. It smooths into skin easily. Doesn't have any sunscreen smell. Doesn't irritate my eyes at all. And just feels really nice on skin and works well under other products. Uh, I didn't have any complaints with their other version or their older version of it. And their newer version seems just fine. I, To be honest... I can't really tell the difference between the two, so I'll keep playing with it, though. Okay, next up, Summer Fridays. I think they're probably one of the only K-Beauty brands I'm not going to mention today. Uh, they're, they come out with this milk sunscreen, which is really nice. It's mineral, not chemical. Uh, it's very liquidy, smooths over skin really easily. Would I pick this on a very hot, sunny day? No, but I could see this one being a nice one to use during the winter or fall because it's not very drying, but it smooths into skin really nicely, plays well with other products, and if you like a mineral sunscreen, it's a good one so far. So, um, yeah, that's my thought. Whatever guys, ones you guys want to see full reviews of also, let me know. Okay, so this one, uh, the Soon Plus, this one came out. 
I thought it was a little thick. I didn't love it. I didn't hate it. It has a little bit of a white cast. It has no fragrance in it. It has some uh, nice ferments in there. It's, it's a combo sunscreen, so mineral and chemical. I know I mentioned this one a few days ago, but um, let's see. I'm running out of arm space. There we go. But this one's just a little bit thicker than what I like, but anyway, there we go. Again, no fragrance in it, which is wonderful. Okay, next up, the Round Lab Mild Tone Up. Mild Up. I'm enjoying this one. Uh, personally, though, I like their uh, other version better, their previous version, but this one's just fine. Uh, no scent to it. Smooths into skin really nicely. There we go. Mineral version. There we go. Okay, then we got the two out of all these that I disliked the most, and I want to mention this one first. Uh, there have been several comments, because I talked about this a little bit in a first impressions video, of people that loved it and have had good luck with it, so nothing wrong with that. I just thought it was too thick for me to love it. It's just a little thick, little white casty, but you know what? Other people have uh, commented and they really like it, so you know what? If it works for them, that is awesome. Just because I didn't love something doesn't mean... Uh, you won't, so there we go. But you can see it is pretty white casty. But if you're looking for a mineral sunscreen, at least it has no fragrance. It has some centella in there um, and antioxidants, which are wonderful. So there we go. And then the one I dislike the most out of all the new ones, and I was bummed because I thought this was going to be a winner, the Marion May Sika Sun Cream, what they call it, Sika Soothing Sun Cream for Sensitive Skin. I would not call this very sensitive skin friendly. Uh, somehow, before I ordered this, I looked at the ingredient list, and I missed it, but fragrance is pretty high up there, and it's noticeable immediately, and it's a kind of a stronger scent. Um, so I was bummed, because Mary May has a lot of stuff that typically doesn't have a lot of fragrance in it, but this one was just so scented, I just did not like it. But the texture of it and everything else is uh, quite nice, but that scent, yeah, didn't like it. Anyway, so I was kind of bummed by that because I actually thought this one would be the best. So it's kind of interesting. A lot of these market towards Sika and like sensitive skin friendly, but it's not really. So anyway, Mary and May, please, if you're watching this video, which you're probably not, but whatever, uh, please stick to fragrance free. That's why I love all the serums you guys make because they don't have fragrance in them, but it seems like everything else other than the serums has fragrance in it. So please, please, please take the fragrance out. And I'll be able to shout you out more, but when you have fragrance in it, it's just not very friendly for sensitive skin. So, and sensitive eyes. And you know what? When you're already using a sunscreen that has chemicals in it, adding fragrance in it just increases the likelihood of irritation. So, anyway. So, there we go. Whatever you guys want to see, fully reviewed, leave a comment, and I will do that. Um, oh, I want to mention this. A, several of you, a few of you have asked about this. It seems to be out of stock everywhere. So, I don't know. If you love this stuff from Australian Gold, uh, do some shopping on it now because I don't know what's going on with it. But anyway, I thought I'd mention that because I was asked a few times what's going on with it. So um, anyway, thanks so much. Leave a comment. Love seeing you. And I will see you guys more tomorrow. Oh, Ike wants to say hi. He's taking a nap. There we go. He's a baby. Okay, thanks so much. Bye, guys.